I'm Jia Yuan, and I'm presenting our paper about privacy analysis of the noisy gradient descent algorithm. This is joint work with Rishabh and Reza from NUS. This paper is recently accepted at NUROS 2021. Machine learning models leak a lot of sensitive information about their training data. From the model predictions and model parameters, the adversary can issue many privacy attacks, such as membership inference attacks and reconstruction attacks. These attacks all threaten user privacy and call for training private machine learning models. To protect privacy, we can train with differential privacy. Differential privacy is a quantitative notion that bounds the worst case information leakage of a randomized algorithm. Loosely speaking, it ensures that the distribution of the algorithm's output on any neighboring data sets are indistinguishable. To be more precise, in this paper, we use the rainy differential privacy notion. It bounds the indistinguishability between distributions with rainy divergence. We refer to this as rainy privacy loss. So how do we obtain differentially private training algorithms? Modern machine learning algorithms are often iterative, and in each iteration, the model is updated based on the previous model and the sensitive data. We can achieve differential privacy by adding carefully calibrated noise to this sensitive update. The question is, how much exactly is the privacy loss of the resulting algorithm? The challenge is to compute the divergence exactly, we have to know the distribution of the algorithm's output theta k. This distribution, however, is often complicated after many updates. As a result, the prior work usually reduced this problem into a different problem, where the adversary not only observed the final model theta k, but also observes all the intermediate models after each iteration. Then the nice composition property of differential privacy allows us to compute the privacy loss for one iteration first, and then bounds the total privacy loss with the sum of it over k iterations. This bound accumulates linearly with k and is very large after many iterations. This is of course not ideal quantitatively, and moreover, it overestimates the actual privacy loss. This is because there is a gap between this overly strong adversary in composition analysis who can see all the intermediate models and the actual adversary for iterated training algorithm who can only observe the final model. So how can we analyze the privacy loss of iterative training algorithm more precisely? In this paper, we look at a fundamental training algorithm, noisy gradient descent. We derive a new privacy analysis for it by precisely studying the problem where the adversary observes one final model. Meanwhile, we assume that all the intermediate models are hidden. Our main theorem is a converging privacy bound for strongly convex and smooth loss functions. Our bound says, as the number of iterations k goes to infinity, the privacy loss is bounded by a maximum constant. This constant is proportional to the square sensitivity of the gradient and is inverse proportional to the amount of noise you add in each iteration. Besides that, we also prove finer characterization of the privacy loss after a finite number of iterations k. This reflects a dynamics of privacy loss over the training process as k increases. This convergence of privacy loss is exponential and interestingly, its rate only depends on the strong convexity parameter of the loss function and the product between step size and number of iterations. So how does this privacy dynamics bound look like? We plot the privacy loss for one particular setup of parameters, and we see that it nicely converges to a constant bound. In contrast, the composition-based bound linearly accumulates with k and quickly exceeds the maximum privacy loss. So we have proved a converging privacy bound that is better than composition, but is there still room for improving our privacy bound? In other words, is our privacy analysis tight? We tackle this problem by computing the exact privacy loss for noisy gradient descent on constructed loss function. We use the squared norm loss function such that the output distributions are Gaussians and then we compute the exact privacy loss by computing divergence between Gaussians. This 
divergence can be lower bound by a formula that is similar to our privacy analysis upper bound. We compare these bounds closely and see that the upper bound matches the lower bound up to constant of four for arbitrary number of iterations. This shows our privacy bound is tight. So how do we exactly prove this privacy bound? Our proof relies on recursive control of the privacy loss change over the training process. We arbitrarily choose a pair of neighboring data sets and we track the change of privacy loss over each iteration. We suppose that data K is trained on data set D and lands on the base of the privacy loss divergence. The vertical axis shows the privacy loss divergence of the distribution for the model trained on neighboring data set D prime relative to the base model theta k, theta k plus one, so on and so forth. At the start of the k iteration, we denote the accumulated privacy loss as r. Then we track the change of this privacy loss r along one noisy gradient descent update. Our approach is to break down one noisy gradient descent update into three steps and then analyze the change in each step. The first step is deterministic and it updates the model towards the average gradient between neighboring data sets. This step is the same on both processes and does not increase the privacy loss. The second step is to interpolate the noisy gradient descent update with different Langevin diffusion processes. On data set D, the drift is proportional to the gradient, to the difference between the gradient on data set D and the average gradient between neighboring data sets in step A. The diffusion process on neighboring data set is similar, except that the drift has opposite direction. This difference in drift then caused the privacy loss to change during the diffusion step. However, because the drift difference is bounded, we can also bound this change of privacy loss in the diffusion step. Finally, there remains a projection step in the update. And this is also the same for both processes. Therefore, it doesn't increase the privacy loss. This completes our proof that after one iteration, the change of privacy loss is bounded. If we look at this change more closely, we see that it's proportional to the gap between the maximum privacy loss and the current privacy loss R. This implies converging privacy dynamics and completes our proof. The privacy bound ensures that if we add calibrated noise to the training algorithm, the output after K iterations satisfies differential privacy. But how does this added noise required by privacy analysis affect the error of the trained model? More specifically, to achieve differential privacy, we add noise to the non-private gradient descent algorithm and also limit the number of iterations that we train. This in turn would harm the empirical error of the trained model. However, if the privacy analysis is tighter, then maybe we can add less noise or train more iterations while achieving the same level of privacy. This in turn would improve the utility of the model by reducing empirical error. We prove that this is exactly the case with our privacy analysis. The privacy dynamics analysis is tighter than composition and therefore it ensures better privacy utility trade-off on two aspects. It reduces the error of the trained model under the same privacy requirement. And it also reduces the runtime, that is the number of iterations required to, opt to obtain that accurate trained model. Our utility gain is related to the size of the data set and is significant for large data sets. In summary, we propose that we need better estimate for the privacy loss of private training algorithm. More precisely, we need to study the problem where only the final trained model is released and all the intermediate models are hidden. Under these assumptions, we prove a new tight converging privacy dynamic theorem for noisy gradient descent on strongly convex and smooth loss functions. We leave it as interesting open problem as to what is the privacy dynamics under more relaxed conditions. Thank you.